Forget the Hollywood gloss and straight white teeth, we'd rather have grey skies, dingy pubs and dodgy slang. Now you're talking. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 signs you're watching a British movie. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at commonly seen and overused stereotypes, locations and general conventions that may make sense to us but could baffle and bewilder overseas audiences. Number 10. It only exists in London. London is a place for me. Many of the United Kingdom's iconic films fail to acknowledge any sort of life outside the capital, forever perpetuating the myth that the UK is just London surrounded by a bunch of fields. Whether it's the Hugh Grant-dominated 1990s rom-coms, or some sort of quirky, happy-go-lucky family film in which they all cram into a Zone 1 townhouse, you are guaranteed to see plenty of the city. And what British film wouldn't be complete without those much-used establishing shots of Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament? Number 9. Stylized Swearing from regal rants to disgruntled gangsters, the air in British films tend to be as blue as the sky is grey, and the sky is really rather grey. As Colin Firth proved to us in The King's Speech and Nick Frost in Shaun of the Dead, swearing really can be made into an art form. Can I get any of you c**ts a drink? It's no secret that we Brits love ourselves a bit of creative cursing, and so there are plenty of potty mouth put downs to please even the most prudish of patriots. You f***ing Dr. White, onking jam rag, arking spunk bubble, I'm telling you H, you keep looking at me, I'm gonna put you in the f***ing ground, I Dude. promise you! Some of the bad language is more subtle, but for every under the breath S-bomb, there is Malcolm Tucker in full force. That is not our line. Walk the f***ing line. Number 8. Niche Cameos Almost like an inside joke, a very British film trait is apparently random walk-ins of well-known homegrown celebrities. Like a hero, a rock and roll. Although they can sometimes be quite high profile, like Kate Moss appearing in Absolutely Fabulous the Movie, or Lemmy's part in Eat the Rich, there are others which only we Brits would appreciate. Can I introduce the gentleman who's letting us have the mount on Sunday? No. Uh, it's a great chance for our beloved TV personalities and musicians to showcase their sometimes questionable acting skills, as shouts of, it's that guy from that thing, can be heard from cinemas nationwide. Collect your brand, back on the barge. Number 7. The Rise of the Underdog We Brits sure like to see our on-screen everyman rising up against the odds and succeeding at their impossible tasks, whether it's getting the girl, in some way proving themselves, or just generally saving the day. So, are we going to stand around here all day? Or are we going to fight? These heroes certainly don't wear capes. Sometimes they wear dressing gowns, and in some cases, they don't wear anything at all. <laughs> Self-deprecating, awkward, and extremely over-British at times, they're the ones who grow in self-belief as the movie progresses while still remaining lovable and down-to-earth. If these guys can do it, anyone can. I think all these people are idiots. God. Number 6. Budget Blockbuster the British don't quite do blockbusters like the folks overseas, but that's not to say that the fruits of our labour aren't equally as brilliant. Colin's been stabbed! With plenty of over-the-shoulder rig shots and shaky footage that does not all seem out of place, Brit flicks have a real immersive feel to them. It is often said that British films look gritty, and it is this iconic style that makes our movies so recognisable. Right, bitch, you bastard! I'm the daddy now, next time I'll... Kill ya. One of the greatest films to use the handheld technique is arguably 28 Days Later, which can almost leave you literally breathless. It's great. It's just great. Also a celebration, I'd say. Number 5. A Legendary Soundtrack If you're born slippery or just a cosmic dancer, you simply can't deny that some British films have seriously epic soundtracks. I'm quite alright, hiding tonight. Injecting life and personality into the movies they accompany, these bangers become the heart of the movie itself, helping to make it even more famous. The iconic opening chase scene of Trainspotting wouldn't be the same without the military-style drumbeat of Iggy Pop's Lust for Life, and the scar and reggae rhythms heard at the beginning of This Is England really helped to set the scene. Then there's the full Monty Q scene, the Billy Elliot dancing scene, and we could go on. I 
Number four, foreign villains. Think of any British spy or secret agent movie, and there's a high chance you'll also think about the central character fighting off a foreign nemesis. Mr. President, the technology required is easily within the means of even the smallest nuclear power. It requires only the will to do so. Often flamboyant and always European, these overseas foes are a force to be reckoned with, ranging from terrifying Russian businessmen who like to play golf to terrifying German businessmen who like to play golf. My game? You didn't come here to play golf. Looking back, these stereotypes are outdated, which is probably why spy parody Johnny English made French villain Pascal Sauvage with his plot to steal the crown jewels so tongue-in-cheek. Shall I try it on? Yes. No, maybe. Number three, gritty northern towns. We've all heard of the so-called North-South divide, but British films seem particularly determined to hammer home the supposed split. I thought you didn't like school. I don't, but it don't mean to say I like work, does it? For those movies that aren't set in and around the townhouses of central London, there are the lengthy terraces and regional accents of the North and the Midlands. Life in these towns and cities is often depicted as cold, grey and working class. Just think of most Shane Meadows or Ken Loach films ever made. But that's why they're loved. There you go. Now you can go back to your desk and let us sign on and do the job that the taxpayer pays you for. These films show something a little bit more real about the UK, proving we aren't all high tea and Hugh Grant. Number two, jokes you don't get. British films tend to be much more subtle with their jokes when compared to American movies. But what I will say is this. The world. Such is the case that audiences may not always pick up on various off-the-cuff comments amidst a smattering of sarcasm. We all are. We are all Britons. And I am your king. I didn't know we had a king. I thought we were an autonomous collective. You're fooling yourself. We're living in a dictatorship. Some films may even require a second or third watch to pick up on the wry one-liners you missed before. Put down and piss off. Fucking hell. The gags are everywhere in British movies, seamlessly intertwined in typically modest British fashion, and even films that seem 100% serious may surprise you with their dark, extra-added moments of unexpected humour. We've got to get some boobs. It's the only solution for this intense cold. Number one, realistic, bittersweet moments. So much for hopeful Hollywood endings. British films typically take the fairy tale idea of living happily ever after and run it over repeatedly in a vintage Mini Cooper. Focusing on realism first and foremost, you know you're watching a British movie when the story isn't always a happy one. In these cases, we often follow some sort of emotional journey, or it could be that the protagonist is tortured and bullied, such as in Kez and This Is England. But if you're expecting to see all their problems disappear, sadly you're in for a shock. Because life's not always like that, and British movies bring the bleak in a big way. I'm cleaning up and I'm moving on, going straight and choosing life. I'm looking forward to it already. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.